All right, everybody, what's up? Gonna do a quick video on some live scope today. The hot topic, everybody, nobody likes it over here. Everybody likes it here. Anyway, you know, there's a ton of drama around it. I'm 17 year old, a senior in high school, fish Alabama Bass Nation, TBF, a lot of tournaments. Have live scope on the, have live scope on the boat, love it. Anyway, not the point of the video. The point is the NPFL has banned live scope for the 2025 season which is a huge deal. The first time anything like this is happening, there's been a ton of talk about, oh, they're gonna ban it here, they're gonna ban it here, they're gonna limit screen size, transducers, but nothing's happened yet until now. It's officially gone for the 2025 season for the NPFL. They can use it for the remaining tournaments of this year and the championship, which falls in 2025, but they cannot use it after that. Um, the NPFL also does not get sponsorship money from Garmin, Lawrence, Humminbird, that's not to take anything away from their decision, but I'm just saying they, they're not getting money from those guys, so they're not losing sponsorship money by doing this. Um, this is a huge decision by the MPFL, and congratulations to them because nothing has ever been done like it, and I'm interested to see who's going to stay, who's going to go. I think some anglers are definitely going to leave the MPFL, and I think they're going to gain some guys. Everybody... Not to sound harsh, but all these guys that are whining and all this stuff on these other trails... There's an option, and they can find out who can catch them with the scope and without. And I think your same guys would go in the MPFL and wax everybody. That's just my opinion. Um, that's about all I got. A uh, real short video. Going to do some more in the future talking about live scope and just my opinion. But a lot of people probably don't care what a younger person like me has to say about these topics. But some people my age might think it's pretty cool.